After being at sea for two days aboard the Carnival Pride cruise ship, we arrived in Santorini, Greece. This was the port that I was most looking forward to. Santorini has been on my bucket list for a long time now, and it definitely over-delivered on my expectations. We did the shore excursion that Carnival provided, taking us to Ia, Fira, and a local winery. Our excursion started with a bus ride up the windy mountain road to Santo Wines, where we got to sample three different kinds of wines, had some appetizers, you could go shopping in their store, and you got to look out at the magnificent views. Yeah. We're at Santo Wines in Santorini, living the dream. <laughs> we were given a sample of their red, white, and sweet wines. I really enjoyed the sweet wine, which was made from sun-dried white grapes. They did have a store that you could purchase the wine if you enjoyed it, but you could also get other things like souvenirs, treats, and snacks. After the winery, we got on the bus for about 30 minutes and headed to Ia. Ia is one of the most popular villages on the island and is best known for its white architecture and blue domes and was a must visit for me. Our tour guide dropped us off in the main square and gave us about an hour and a half to explore on our own. And she also explained that to the left was for more high-end shopping and to the right was for restaurants and picture taking. We enjoyed the shopping, the great views of the caldera, we saw many romantic restaurants, and I mean this place is beautiful. You are going to find the most amazing photo opportunities here. I've also heard that this is the place to see some pretty incredible sunsets. We weren't able to do that this trip, but definitely next time. When we were done there, we headed to Fira, the capital of Santorini, and also where our ship was anchored and waiting for us. This is where our excursion ended, but since we still had lots of time at the port, we decided to look around and see the shops and restaurants, and of course, more amazing views of the caldera. There is a hike that I wanted to do that's from Fira to Ia. It is about 10 kilometers, and I wanted to save that for when I had more time, but definitely Google that if you're interested. There's lots of information about it on there. When we were ready to get back on the ship, we had two options to get down the mountain's edge and meet up with the tender waiting for us at the bottom. Our options were to take the cable car that was included in our excursion fee, or we could venture down the 588 step donkey pathway all the way to the bottom. We chose the donkey path because I had wanted to do this ever since I had heard about it. You can hire a donkey for 10 euros for one way if you'd like, but we decided to walk. There's no way you're getting me on a donkey. Walking the pathway was a really fun experience, and I am so glad I did it, and I would definitely do it again. But I do want to caution you that it can be a little slippery, I wore sandals and I would not do that again. I would definitely wear runners and good footwear next time. Oh, and watch out for poop. Once you reach the bottom, you can look up and see all that you've accomplished before getting on the tender back to the ship. I absolutely adored Santorini and I will definitely be going back. It's an extremely picturesque island and the people were really friendly as well. Thank you for watching my video. Santorini was the first stop in our 10 day European cruise. So please make sure to subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future European content. Thank you.